Hey, it's me. Let me show you around my new app, Challenges. So this app premise is pretty simple. Uh, users sign in, they have challenges to complete, and will earn badges upon completion. You, the admin, will have the ability to review each post before allowing the user to earn the badge. So let me show you around. First tab is the profile page where you have the username and the image. This is editable by the user, and the email address is private to only the user signed in. Beneath, they see the badges that they have earned and the challenges that they have completed. On the next tab is the All Users page, where you can select the user and, again, uh, see the badges and the challenges completed for that user for a little friendly competition. Note that the email address is not visible publicly. Next up is the Challenges tab, where you can see a list of challenges and the status indicator as to whether the challenge has been submitted but still under review or if it has been approved by the admins. You can dive into each challenge, see the description for that challenge, and a link to complete the challenge by filling out a form and submitting evidence. The challenges that a user has already completed will be unable to be submitted again. And you can also see a list of users who have completed this challenge and again, a link to their profile page. On the next tab is a list of all of the badges, as well as indicators as to whether they have been earned or not. If they have not been earned, they'll be opaque and grayscale, and ones that have been earned will be in full color. You can click on any of the badges to see more information about the badge and who has already earned the badge with, again, links to the user profile page. On the last tab is the activity log. On this page, you can see a feed of the challenges completed by the various users. This also serves as the admin page for approving posts. If you are an admin, you can dive into each challenge and mark the submission as being approved or not. There's a link to the evidence here for approval. And so if I'm the admin and I want to approve this challenge, I can view the evidence. And if I approve, I can flip the switch to approve the submission, which means that challenge A is now completed for this user. Back on the challenges page, they should now see that challenge A is now approved. On their profile page, challenge A is now available under their completed challenges. And if any badges are associated to that challenge, they will earn that badge as well. Now on your end, the only thing that you'll need to do is come into the challenges app spreadsheet Go to your challenges and create your challenges. Create an icon. The pending icon and the approved icon will automatically fill themselves out as long as you place the original icon in the sheet here. And the challenge number will automatically be generated as well. So for example, if I want to create a new challenge, and here is the description. And again, you can see here's the challenge number automatically gets assigned. And then as soon as I place an image in this tab, you'll see that the pending icon and the approved icons get filled out automatically. The same is true with the badges. So when I want to add a new badge, please add one row at a time. And you can add a new badge. Again, a description of the badge and an icon. Now, the only tricky thing that you'll need to do is come up with the formula that will allow the user to earn the badge automatically. For badge one through badge three, there's a formula here in the second row under the users column for each of the badges that will allow the user to earn that badge automatically. Let's dive into the formula a little bit. So it's an array formula, which means it's going to copy itself down automatically. It's checking to see if there's anything in column A. So if, there, if column A has any sort of length to it, then it's doing some count ifs here. So for badge one, which is our challenge A badge. It's checking the log, and it's also checking, yeah, it's checking the log to see if the email address exists. It's also checking the log to see if challenge A exists. And so basically what that's doing is it's saying, okay, did this user complete challenge A? If so, it's gonna return a number, because it's counting, um, of one. And so I'm checking to see if it's greater than zero. And so if those things is true, okay, then it's going to place the name of the badge here, and it's using a VLOOKUP. So it's looking up the, uh, the term badge one in the badges sheet. And badges, the badge one is associated to A for Amazing. And so because this was approved, then A for Amazing shows up for badge one. And I just copied that formula for badge two and badge three, 
but I just change the name of the badge that gets placed here, as well as um, the column that it's looking up in. Okay, badge four is a combination. So I said if badge one, badge two, and badge three have any length, all right, so if there's a length in badge one, and if there's a length in badge two, and if there's a length in badge three, then it's gonna count all those up and it's gonna add them up. And so if it equals to three, which means that there are three badges here, then it's gonna award them that fourth badge, which is the um, super badge, ABC badge. All right, so let's say badge five is just counting how many times they've posted it all. Maybe it's just, you know, that they've done or they've completed five challenges. It doesn't matter whether they're approved or not. So what we need to do, what I would do is I would just copy this formula, this array formula. Okay. And again, we want this to approve not for A is amazing, but we want it to be um, for badge number five. So that's H1. So instead of D1, we'll change it to H1. Okay, so that's the new badge we created. Right? And we want it to be, you know, if the log has a, a number that's greater than, let's say, five. Maybe it's a, maybe they've earned it five times. So we're going to count if in the log if it equals to their email address. And we'll do that if that number is greater than or equal to five. Okay. So because I don't have five posts in here, it's blank. If I were to quickly come into the log here and let's add some dummy data, I'll just copy this down. So now I have five submissions. So now it's gonna recognize that my email address counted, counted my email address five times. And so I should now have that badge under my user sheet. There we go. So you can create Nice count for how many badges. So if it's you know more than three, right? More than four, more than five, right? If I do more than six, then that'll be blank because I've only have five submissions so far. And so you can easily create a first challenge badge or five time challenge badge or ten times challenge badge. Quickly create some more badges for your users to be engaged. All right. So really, the only thing that you'll need to do in terms of customizing it for yourself is um, adding your own badges, adding your own challenges, making sure the formulas work out the way you want them to. And then under the admins tab, add your email address as an administrator. So that way you can also approve posts that your students are submitting. All right, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at robert.petito at wibber.edu. And as always, thanks for watching.